We'll see if that is a final choice. It also gives another option. Nar can deal with top lane Malphite if he gets ahead. In some cases, some cases Irelia as well, but Split Push is now a tool that has been incorporated into the CIS team composition. So those options are available for them. You get those two items, you start picking objectives that you want, but you don't really commit to fights because of the control they have around the map. And then as soon as that happens, as soon as you get towards the three and four items, you can really start taking the team fight. So different stages of the game, they're looking for different things. Sometimes especially with the threat of the Gragas game. Well, low mobility is the term we'll try, use, or just annoy Kobe. Kira's in trouble and we'll go down. Pistol's just gonna sink the fangs in and pull off a very easy kill on an overextended mid laner. Yeah. You got all that pressure spawn. He's even ahead in effective goal. Finds a cocoon and look at this burst damage. Defensive it flash from Dimashka. Well. Repel flash over the wall from Naru. And Crystal gets a second kill of the game. To put his name in the list for our oh, there he goes. Safe. And he's going to jump back in. The spiders can eat fishes. Demonka's going low. The stun connects from the cosmic binding. And Crystal does not donate more. And Crystal takes another kill like me too because of how quickly holy phoenix can get there especially with struts why not crystal's looking for more who's gonna go away crystal's almost gonna 1v1 but underestimates the hp of wild growth and kira shuts him down yeah kira able to pick up a kill and the red buff civil champion because we've not seen it he's power farming up sure 53 cs for 13 minutes he's got a big lead over his opposite number but this is the first gank and it will result in a kill. That is a rocket jump over oh. onto Holy Phoenix. Teleport arrives to Thaldrin, but he does not want to be there. Unstoppable force has already been used, and he is in trouble. Cocoon connects there onto Dimashka, so Crystal gonna save the life of Thaldrin. Happy to see that uh, Smurf was able to back away. That was a very, very good tempered fate. Stunned up Lex and Demonko. Demonko is going to eat Lex. Spits him out in a moment. If Double Doge can find the Cosmic Binding, it may be enough, but it will not. He's going to sink the fangs in from Crystal. Holy Phoenix is looking for more. There comes Dimashka. He's not going to be able to knock anybody away. And eventually, it's Crystal that picks up another kill. I think we'll forgive him for this one. Yeah, we certainly will. That was a much better play for Crystal. He flew in there at the last moment and secured a kill this time around. Around. Although Lex surviving and continuing to farm up is still good things for the CIS region. Maybe a bit of an overreach by sticking around the, on that turret. Very telegraph play because you know they'd already been down there. And it was this time Dumbledore catching them out of position with a Bardock. Yeah, managing to stun them both up. Naru and Kira are doing battle. And look at that. Wild Growth comes up. Ignite is ticking through and Kira will not go down, but forced to run away. Not Cure this dragon for themselves. First of the game, the added stats at 22 minutes, definitely nothing to scoff at. I think it is so easy to hit. As, wow, Holy Phoenix caught out. It's a little bit. The Tongue Lash will not connect. The slow from the barrel does. The Tempered Fate will keep Dimonshko and Dimanko. Dimashka and Dimonko locked up. Dumble Doge is looking for more. That will at least reveal the champions for now. Unstoppable Force will catch the Fat Man and the Catfish. Crystal is looking for Dimashka. Dimonko is going to look to throw down that Grey Hell. He's going to swallow at the very least Dimashka. Now Dimonko's down. That pops out Dimashka. It's Crystal with the double kill. Six and one. He has all of the kills. Uh, Crystal is so far away, as is Naru. Bullet time uses to defend the tower, and it doesn't even do that. Tempered Fate will lock up both Kira and Lex, and it will not matter. Dimashka, as well as Smurf, pick themselves up a kill. Look at this in the turrets. Yeah, they literally just traded some bottom lane farm and a blue buff for mid lane and a kill, and they're not done. No, they are not. Dalton still has his unstoppable force, which he uses defensively to get away. Smurf's about to go mega. He finds himself some damage onto Double Doge as Lex picks up the kill. CIS, they have activated. That two item spike has allowed them to ruffle stomp Turkey. Got themselves two towers, got themselves three kills. They're gonna take an inhibitor turret. They may even go for the inhibitor. And this is what we said. Turrets are butter. Naru still looking for a flank with Crystal. There he goes. A back away here from CIS. Not They'll get the dragon back in response, but 
probably not enough at this stage. Crystal might even be caught. Crystal's in trouble. Dimashka's looking for explosive cask is available, and the Tempered Fate should be enough. Kira does not connect with the Glitter Lance, though, and Dumbledore just looking for that Cosmic Binding. TP follows through from Thaldrin. Unstoppable Force is available. Let's see if CIS group up. Dimonko gets stuck against the wall, and in the stun is taken out. Naru's burst is very, very high. Smurf is about to go mega. Locks Thaldrin up against the wall, trying to interrupt that Unstoppable Force. If CIS group, Aldrin will go in, it's not Crystal. Yeah, it certainly is. They're going in again. Holy Phoenix is down. His positioning is simply not good enough. Dimashka, he did not show up in the laning phase, but he is in the mid game. I think Smurf even teleported in here behind Aldrin. Another defensive unstoppable force is what I'm expecting. The satchel will not explode quickly enough. Smurf is looking to hunt. The boomerang connects. And with the help of Lulu, he gets himself another kill. Dragon, but Baron's been started. It really is. This boost of swiftness gonna have to pay dividends. Tempered Fate catches four, locking Lex up in the air of that rocket jump. They've got the kill on Sonaru, who was one of the strongest champions for the Turkish squad. And now they turn their attention to Baron. Smite is available for Crystal, Ooh, as well as the start. percentage on his Q. Thaldrin's locked up Lex and Kira. Lex is down. Lex is down. That's the damage for CIS. It's a shutdown as Holy Phoenix has got himself too. Demon is trying to run away. That Grey Elf will keep him up for a few seconds longer. He's going to eat the Malphite before getting dropped himself. Triple kill for Holy Phoenix. Takes a magical journey, looking to hunt down Smurf as Smurf is on full retreat in the river. Kira's up in the top lane. Holy Phoenix will get the last hit, securing the fourth unofficial quadra, and Kira is shut down. And all of a sudden, Baron is open up for Turkey. Just sees 4v5s are the way to go in this game because they're able to take it, and the cardinal sin of a Protect the AD Carry comp. Mid laner stands on top of the AD Carry, and Double Dose makes him pay. I think, but Turkey have split themselves up. Thaldrin, Major Beefcake, gonna pull the attention of Smurf. Teleport is up. The rest of Turkey are going to head up to this top lane. Dimashka is going to get dropped down by bullet time. And without the jungler and the disengage from that explosive cast, Tempered oh, Fate will lock up Lex up. and Kira. The Cosmic Binding stuns Kira as well. And Turkey get themselves yet Holy another Phoenix, kill. Naru just obliterates Lex. And with four members of CIS down, this might just be the game. Turkey, they're onto the inhibitor turret. They're onto the inhibitor. And there are minions with Baron conga lining onto the Nexus turret. Turkey just punish CIS. They punish to protect the AD. They've got a Nexus turret. They've got a second. And on Thanksgiving, Turkey pick themselves up a win in their second game at IWCA. I do not know what the heck just happened. Once again, Dumbledore's clutch stun onto both the mid laner and AD carry. Once is pretty unforgivable. Twice costs them the game in the end.